In this video, we're going to talk about how to allocate the cost of a support department by using the single rate method. So let's say that we have an auto manufacturer with two operating divisions, and we manufacture cars and trucks, right? Each is a separate division, but we have this support department, which is our IT department, right? Our information technology, our tech specialists, and they provide services to each of these departments, to the truck division and to the car division. So we've got a pool of costs here with IT, and we're trying to determine how do we allocate some of these costs to the car division, and how much do we allocate to the truck division? So how will we go about doing that? Well, basically, we've got a number of ways we could do that. One is, first, we could use the budgeted overhead and the budgeted hours to apply it. We could also use the actual overhead and the actual hours, but then we'd have to wait till the end of the year to know what the overhead actually was. Or we could use what I'm going to do in this video is use the budgeted overhead to create a single overhead rate, and then we're going to apply it once we know what the actual hours are. You could do any of those three methods, but let's just talk about this final method here, and we'll use the single rate method to do it. So. Let's say that this IT department has $6 million in fixed costs, and then we need to know a few things. We're going to need to know the budgeted hours for the car division and then the budgeted hours for the truck division. And when we're talking about budgeted hours, we're talking about how many hours of the support department's time that they're going to use, right? So basically we say with the car division, we think that the car division is going to end up using 6,000 hours of the IT department's time. And conversely, the, the truck division we think is going to use 9,000 hours of the IT department's time. Now all this is budgeted, right? And we said we're going to use the budgeted overhead, and we're going to calculate a single overhead rate. So to calculate this single overhead rate, we're going to need to know not just the fixed costs, but we're also going to need to know the total variable costs that are budgeted. And how do we figure that out? Well, we know the variable costs per hour. They're budgeted at $300 per hour, and we know that between the two departments, there's 15,000 in total hours. And I got that just by adding the 6,000 from the car division and the 9,000 from the truck division. So we add those together, we take 15,000, and then we multiply it by $300 an hour, which is the variable cost rate, and that's going to give us $4.5 million, right? That's the total budgeted variable cost. I'll just abbreviate that VC. And so now we can add the variable cost, the budgeted variable cost, to the fixed cost, right? So we're going to add the $6 million and the $4.5 million together. So that's going to give us our total budgeted costs. So the total cost it would be $10.5 million, right? So this is our cost pool. This is our cost pool, and now we need to come up with a rate, right? A rate that we're going to allocate once we see what the actual hours are, right? So to get our rate, we're going to take this $10.5 million, right, our cost pool, and we're going to divide it by the total number of hours, which again is 15000 hours, right? It's got that by adding the hours for the car division and adding the hours for the truck division. So if we take that, we just take $10.5 million and then we divide that by 15000 right here, and that's going to give us $700. And what that $700 is, that's going to be our overhead rate that we're going to apply. This is the single, when we call it the single rate method, what we're basically saying is instead of coming up with a rate for the fixed cost and a rate for the variable cost and applying two different rates, we're just going to have one rate, right? So this is going to include fixed cost, variable cost, they're all together in this rate of $700 an hour, okay? So now that we have that rate, so I'll just, I'm just going to put here our, so our single rate, going to be $700 an hour, $700 per hour. And that basically includes $400 in fixed cost per hour and then $300 in variable cost per hour. That's where we got the 700 to, another way of calculating it. So now we go and we see, well, what were the actual hours for the period, right? So the car division had 8,000 actual hours that they used the IT department, right? 
the truck division actually used the IT department for 7,000 hours, right? So these, these numbers are different than what was budgeted, and that, that's okay. So to get the amount that we're going to allocate to each one, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each by that single overhead rate, by $700, right? So each one is going to be multiplied by $700. So now to get the car division, so that would be $700 times 8,000. So that's going to equal $5.6 million. Right? That's the amount of the IT department support costs that end up being allocated to the car division. Now let's do the truck division. So we take the 7,000 actual hours, and then we multiply that by that $700 overall rate, and that's going to give us $4.9 million, $4,900,000. Now, if we were to add these up, let's just add these together just as a little check. They come to $10,500,000, which incidentally is the exact amount of our total cost that we are needing to allocate. And we end up allocating everything. We didn't have any issues or any under or over applied overhead because our actual hours were 15,000 and that was what our budgeted hours were. Now, notice again, to calculate this single overhead rate, we used the budgeted variable cost and then also the budgeted fixed cost, right? That's what we used. And then when we actually applied this rate, when we applied that overhead rate, we actually use the actual hours. But again, this isn't the only way you can do this single rate system, right? Again, I just want to emphasize, you could also do where you say the budgeted overhead, like we did, but then apply it based on budgeted hours. Or you could wait till the end of the period, see what the actual overhead is, and then come up with a rate and then apply it based on the actual hours. So those are just alternative ways of doing it. But the main idea is with the single rate, However you do it, we're coming up with one single rate that incorporates both the variable costs and the fixed costs in just one rate and then applying it.